Fujifilm is planning to soon release a dream camera lens combo. The Fujifilm XF18 to 55mm kit lens is widely regarded as one of the best kit lenses there has ever been. It came out back in 2012 and paired with almost any X system camera it was a dream to shoot with. It works especially well with the cameras that are on the smaller side because for a standard kit lens this is rather on the smaller side. And it seems like Fujifilm is planning to keep this concept the same. Now the X-T30 Mark II is the perfect camera for this purpose so they have decided to release its upgrade which evidently will not be called the X-T40 but the X-T50. So hopefully in 2024 we will see this new camera being released in conjunction with this upgraded kit lens. Firstly I want to go over the possibilities that Fujifilm has with this camera and later on I want to talk a bit more about this new lens. And on that camera first some options that are I think rather obvious that Fujifilm will take in my opinion. Firstly, bring in the new X processor 5 to this camera. This seems to be a no-brainer for Fujifilm. It would increase the speed this camera can work with and it's something that Fujifilm has always done with, I think, all of their cameras as soon as they had a new X processor out. Secondly, a downside, I think they will keep the one card slot limit as they have done with all their mid-tier cameras. Just like with the XS20 or the XE4, Fujifilm has always decided to keep this one card slot limit just as an incentive for people to buy their more premium cameras. With this camera, I'm sure it will be the same, but I think they will upgrade to the UHS-2 slot instead of the UHS-1, just like they did with the XS20. And thirdly, I doubt they will change the viewfinder, so it would still be the 0.93 magnification ratio with the 2.36 million dots resolution. I doubt they would opt for the viewfinder on their higher tier models like the X-T5 or the X-H2. Now to the controversial three aspects of this camera that I think will either make or break people's decision buying this or not. Firstly, the sensor. The XT30 Mark II offers the 26 megapixel X-Trans 4 sensor, which was also featured on the newer XS20, even though the X-Trans 5 40 megapixel sensor had been released prior to that. This leads me to believe that this new XT50 will also have the X-Trans 4 26 megapixel sensor. Secondly, IBIS. I'm quite certain that this new Fujifilm camera will also feature IBIS as it doesn't really seem like something that is exclusive to their more premium products anymore. The XS10 as well as the XS20 also feature IBIS, though the biggest reason I think they will implement IBIS on this camera is something I will touch on later in this video when I'm talking about the new lens. And thirdly, weather resistance. It has never been something they featured on their mid-tier kind of cameras and has always been exclusive to cameras like the X-T5, the X-H2 or the X-Pro3. Therefore, I don't think Fujifilm will start implementing this now on their mid-tier model. Now to this incredible lens that is supposed to replace the 18-55mm to lens as the standard kit lens in Fujifilm's lineup. It's going to be the Fujifilm XF 16-50mm f2.8 to f2.8. 4.8 RLMWR lens which gives us quite a lot of information to work with already. There are plenty of positive aspects with this new lens but unfortunately also a couple of negatives though they could seem like compromises rather than negatives per se. The 18 to 55 millimeter lens never had weather sealing and I think all newer Fujifilm lenses have weather resistance and this new lens will also feature this. A lot of people just use the 18 to 55 millimeter lens in rainy conditions anyway and it didn't seem to be a big problem but it's still comfortable to have the manufacturer's seal of approval that this lens can actually withstand those conditions. And the next change is something I really love and it's part of the weather ceiling or rather an improvement on it. When zooming out this lens doesn't increase its size so it stays in this same small form factor the entire time. This is a great benefit to this kind of street photography where you don't want too much attention on yourself so you can capture moments unfiltered. Having a standard zoom lens in such a small form factor might sway away some people from their prime lenses if they can withstand the high aperture of course. As with the release of this lens in 2024 the 18 to 55 millimeter lens will be around 12 years old so I'm pretty sure there will also be an improvement on the image quality. Though don't expect to jump to the likes of the 16 to 5 millimeter f2.8 red batch lens because there still has to be some difference there because otherwise they could basically stop production for the 16 to 55 as no one would buy it anymore. While keeping about the same form factor that the 18 to 55 millimeter has Fujifilm also had to make some drawbacks with this lens which may or may not impact your decision to get 
get it or not. Firstly, as the name of this lens suggests, the aperture has increased from f4 to f4.8, which is not that big a deal as it's just half a stop, but it still might impact people that are planning to get this lens in conjunction with a camera and are mostly concentrated on shooting portraits. Secondly, they removed the optical image stabilization, which is something that's really bad if you're using a camera that doesn't have IBIS, but that is exactly the reason, as I said earlier, why I think the X-T50 will feature IBIS. Because I could imagine that they would offer a camera lens combination in 2024 that doesn't feature any kind of stabilization. I think this lens will suit a lot of different Fuji shooters from street to travel to landscape photography with portrait and macro photography excluded, of course. So generally, I think this camera will be the perfect starting point for people that want to get into the Fujifilm X system. The big question is if it will be offered at a competitive price. For example, the XS20 together with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, you can buy for around 1,800 euros. And to be honest, I think this is too expensive as a starting point for people that want to get into the Fujifilm X system. I hope the compromises on this new 16 to 50 millimeter lens will also be able to keep the price down a little bit. The X-T30 Mark II can be had for around 900 euros new. So I hope the new X-T50 will be around the same price, maybe with a jump to around 1,000 euros. And usually a camera lens combination can be bought for a slightly reduced price. So I'm hoping this kit could be bought for around 1,300 to 1,400 euros. But we will just have to wait and see. Special thanks to Patrick from Fuji Rumors as he discovers a whole lot of rumors and insights on the Fujifilm X system. That also gives me new ideas for videos from time to time. If you want to find out about another camera, the XE5 that I think Fujifilm will release in the near future, check out this video right here.